One day I got a phone call saying, are you Tim? Yes. Are you a rigger? Yeah. Do you want to work tonight? Sure. Uh, and a couple of hours later, I found myself, I won't say where the venue is, I won't mention any names, uh, but in the roof of a venue uh, nearby to where I lived, I don't know, maybe 45 or, no, probably 60 foot in the air, and free climbing out on steel tube to lift up points for a show. God, I, I talk about it now, I can still feel that moment of terror, absolute terror. I didn't have the right kit. I didn't have the right harness. I didn't have a full arrest lanyard. I was just out there free climbing. I didn't know how to tie the knots, and I didn't know what I was doing. But I would rather have fallen to my death than suffer the embarrassment of climbing back down and saying, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this. And that was my moment. But I came down out of the roof that night, and I thought, I will never, ever do that to myself again. And then I had a moment seconds later going, geez, and everybody underneath me that I put at fatal risk for my own incompetence. And everyone who came to see that show and was relying on the points that I'd pulled into the roof and the motors that I'd made off to make sure that that grid didn't fall down. Nothing happened. I got away. But that was my moment. Um, uh, and that was the moment that I realized that, you know, not that I was going to become some torchbearer for safety, but I would never ever overstep or overstate my competence, and that I would never ever put myself and the people that I love and know, you know, in a position where I'd, I'd kill myself at work. But, it, you know, for me, the most amazing thing was, maybe it's because I'm British, you know, the ultimate, the ultimate terror we face is embarrassment. It's not disembowelment. It's not falling to an untimely death. It's actually embarrassment. How pathetic is that? That I would rather have gone in the roof and done that and put all those people at risk and say, oh, I'm sorry, man, I can't do that. You know, I, you got the wrong guy. I know I said I could. And I bet there's a lot of you out there kind of watching this who may be in a similar position where the temptation to say you can do it is very great. You don't want to turn around and say, ah, oh, you've wasted your time, man, or whatever. And you kind of carry on. Don't do it. But I think everybody needs to learn that lesson through their bowel, quite literally. You've got to scare yourself so stupid that you go, gee, I'm, I, that was it. Uh, and that was a moment for me, um, not that made me a safety geek, but that actually made me a safer person to work on shows with, because I knew how to say no. No's the hardest word we've got, um, and it's not deployed frequently enough. Um, and, and one thing, hopefully, that the, you know, that the ESAT course can teach is to give you the power and the authority to say no. You know, they're your fingers, they're your toes, it's your head in the heart. Out. It's not going to help me, it, you know, it, it's going to help you by honing your filter, your self-protection filter, and to look out for the folks around you.